Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. Once a week, I pick some topic of interest in C++ and dig into it with some live coding. In this episode, I'm going to cover changes in the sequence containers in C++ 17. And now, the first thing you may be wondering is, what are the sequence containers? And that is containers that have data that can be accessed sequentially. Pretty straightforward. So you have standard array, standard vector, standard deck, standard forward list, and standard list. Now these are different from the associative containers such as set and map. So now the next thing that we want to answer is what has changed in these containers. Now there has been a change to the class definition for them to support a new allocator type. You have PMR, which is the polymorphic allocator, and that's not something we're going to be discussing today. We're going to be discussing changes to the actual API in the sequence containers. Hopefully you are already familiar with emplace back in the C++ 11 version of these sequence containers. So we're going to create a vector, but what should we create a vector of? And let's make it, say, something slightly uh, heavy so that we've got some actual code being generated here. In fact, let's just make it a vector of vectors, events. So we have our vector of vector events. Now, if we wanted to add an item to this vector, we can do vector.pushback. And here we would want to do a new vector. And this works out fairly well because the R value reference that's being passed to push back in C11 is going to move this new vector into place instead of copying it. But C11 added a more succinct, more better performing version called in place back. And in place back basically says construct a new object of this type and put it immediately where it needs to go in place and memory. So there's no move, there's no copy, everything is as efficient as it can be. So in place back is actually calling the constructor for the vector. So if we wanted to create a vector of three ones, then we could do something like this. And this calls vectors constructor that takes a count followed by a value and puts that back in place. So now what we have is a vector that contains one vector that contains three ones. And that's all good. Now in C11, in place back and in C14 returns void. So let's make sure we've got our compiler in C11 mode. So if we had a reason to work with this newly created vector that we emplaced back, we would need to do something like this. And this works. It gives us a reference to the vector that was just emplaced back. And this can have a lot of usefulness for both efficiency to not create and then try to move in the vector, but to emplace it and then get access to it. And then you might want to do something like, oh, and by the way, I wanted to push back a four. And so this is something that I actually have some kind of use for in ChaiScript and in other projects I've worked on where I emplace something and then I have a reason to work with it immediately. And the people working on the C++ standard for C++ 17 agreed that there is often a need to be able to access the data that was just emplaced back. So to do that, we're going to put this back in C++ 1Z mode. And at the moment, we need to make sure we're using libc++ because this is an experimental C++ 17 feature. It has officially been voted into the standard, but you have to use the latest and greatest standard library and compiler to be able to access this. And at the moment, I'm using builds that haven't yet been released as official versions. So now we can do something like this and we can save that extra step of having to do the lookup. And in fact, depending on what this exact operation is that we need to perform, we could do something like this and put it all in one line and the compiler should be able to do something very efficient with it. Now, of course, for this specific example, 
this is a little silly when we could have instead done something like this if we really just wanted three ones followed by a four. But you get the idea, and this is particularly helpful if you are doing some sort of container adapter where you need to check to see if a value exists, and if it doesn't, then you want to return a reference to it or something like that, similar to examples that I've shown in previous episodes. So there you have it. This is the main feature that you expect to find in C++ 17 sequence containers. Now, it's worth noting, you've got this form place back, and if we had, say, a list, You can do this for in place front also, but in any of these sequence containers, it's in place back and in place front work, but just the standard in place. So if I want to say I want to in place at the beginning, the value 5, this version, sent C11, has returned an iterator. So it's an iterator like this. So that part of the API has not changed. This will continue to return an iterator. It's only the in-place front and in-place back versions that are returning references to the objects that were just created inside the container. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.